This brave man needs no introduction. He has a VIP face known worldwide. He is not perfect. He is a babe in Yahushua's eyes. And yet before he was birthed, he was already chosen, anointed and appointed to fight against the worldwide Goliath, the beast system. With the bravery of a Maccabee, one of the greatest leaders in the history of the nation, acknowledges Jesus as God, Lord and Savior, and the reason for the festive season. This is an answer to our prayers. Prophet Elisheva Eliyahu cried tears of joy when he spoke the scriptures of Yahushua HaMashiach, commonly in English called Jesus Christ, and teaching the holy truth of what most Christians call the Christmas story, that is, the Immaculate Conception within a Jewish virgin woman of Yahushua who was born and is both God in the spirit and God in the flesh. The date of Yahushua HaMashiach's birth is not December the 25th, but few know his birthday is in the biblical festival called Sukkot, and Sukkah in the Hebrew language can translate as stable. We all know his humble bed was a manger. Prophecy 149 given to Elisheva Eliyahu reminds us there can be no birth without the time of conception. We celebrate both his birth and conception, the holy times of Sukkot and Hanukkah, the time of his conception. Our VIP guest acknowledges Jesus as God, Lord and Savior, and the reason for the festive season. This is an answer to our prayers. Even though he talks about Christmas, he's only held accountable for what he knows, and he glorifies Yahushua. We are only held accountable for what we know. Yahushua HaMashiach washes away all our sins with his blood when we ask forgiveness for sins, turn from evil, seek biblical truth, humble ourselves, and never deny who Yahushua HaMashiach is. There is no other name for salvation from hell. Have mercy on this VIP. Pray blessings, protection on him and his wife and sons, for his voice is a trumpet blast lifting up the name of Jesus Christ. Elisheva covers him in prayer from the moment her eyes open to when she sleeps. Bride of Yahushua HaMashiach, American patriots, all faithful Bible believers, remember he fights for the unborn like no other leader of nations have done. This VIP knows the pain of deepest betrayal. This VIP is greatly loved in heaven. Apostle Elisheva hears from heaven that if he continues to clean the White House, Yahushua HaMashiach will use it as a lighthouse for the last great revival. The new banner shall be, Make God Great Again. Return again to morality. This great VIP leader must be taught, Fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. When we learn, we will be persecuted for Yahushua HaMashiach's namesake. Remember, Great are your rewards in heaven, and great will be the blessings, prosperity, and protection on the USA when he obeys God. This VIP leader made a promise to the USA. He would make the words, Merry Christmas, no longer a greeting of confusion or shame. All who worship and strive to obey the new blood covenant need to remember the old blood covenant was a foreshadow of Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord God, Yah. For all who remind this VIP leader of his past sins, Yahushua HaMashiach said to the woman caught in the act of adultery, the Jews were going to stone her. He stopped them by saying, He who is without sin among you, cast the first stone. One man after another quickly left, as he wrote in the sands words unknown. To the adulterous woman, he commanded, Go and sin no more. No one on earth is perfect, but when we accidentally sin, we quickly repent. Ask Yahushua to forgive you with sorrow. Ask him to wash your sins away and deliver you from the hands of the devil. Elisheva is proud of this VIP leader, and her prayer is, He will remove Paula White as spiritual advisor. Elisheva says she heard Paula White say years ago that she uses her hips and her lips to get people to listen to her sermons. 
You can hear her speak this sermon with her own lips. No fake news. And she was not asking forgiveness or confessing her sins when she said this. Beloved VIP and brother in Yahushua HaMashiach, Apostle Elisheva's prayer for you is greater discernment. She and we thank you for reading what is called the Christmas story. It is the prayers of the righteous who avail much. It is Hanukkah now. She hears to read the books of Maccabee and learn the Hanukkah story. For Yahushua, our heavenly Messiah, and all true believers are fighting the same devil who comes to steal, kill, and destroy in the same spirit of the one we call the Antichrist. The Bible says when a thief is caught stealing, they must give back seven times more. This is the law of heaven, and this VIP leader deserves every born-again, Holy Spirit-filled person's respect, loyalty, and love. We win the war against evil and tyranny like the Maccabees did before us. Matthew 10 so everyone who acknowledges me before men, I also will acknowledge before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, I also will deny before my Father who is in heaven. 2020 Holiday Greeting Thank you very much. To every family across our nation, the First Lady and I want to wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas. For Christians, this is a joyous time to remember God's greatest gift to the world. More than 2,000 years ago, the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary. He said, do not be afraid. You have found favor with God. The angel told her that she would give birth to a baby boy, Jesus, who would be called the Son of the Most High. Nine months later, Christ was born in the town of Bethlehem. The Son of God came into the world in a humble stable. As Christians everywhere know, the birth of our Lord and Savior changed history forever. At Christmas, we give thanks to God and that God sent His only Son to die for us and to offer everlasting peace to all humanity. More than two millennia after the birth of Jesus Christ, his teachings continue to inspire and uplift billions and billions of people all over the globe. His divine word still fills our hearts with hope and faith, and Christians everywhere still strive to live by Jesus' timeless commandment to his disciples, love one another. Above all, during the sacred season, our souls are full of thanks and praise for Almighty God, for sending us Christ, his son, to redeem the world. Tonight we ask that God will continue to bless this nation and we pray that he will grant every American family a Christmas season full of joy, hope, and peace. On behalf of Melania and the entire Trump family, Merry Christmas to all and best wishes for a very, very great and happy new year. Thank you.
with the face only increasing And the enemies are really increasing Be your shoes the light of the world The army's only sun, the living word Every prayer but I know is heard And because of him we are dressed